For a lot of us, we have this fantasy that at one point in our life, our dreams will just happen. That by 30 or 35, I'll be making six figures doing what I love and I'll be with that person or married to that person, living in this place, New York or LA or SF or Spain, and all my dreams will come true. But the reality is that for most of you watching this, they won't. And there's a very simple reason why that I wanna to share today in this video. Hey guys, it's Alex Hine over at Modern Health Monk. Now, before we jump in, I've put together a free guide, which is a free journaling worksheet. It'll help you figure out how to get your life together, how to plan what you actually want to achieve in your life, and then a simple journaling exercise you can do in your life. So it's the first link right below the video. So every day, there are two roads you can go down in your life. And the fundamental question of life is very, very simple. It's that if you are watching this video because you are not where you want to be, because you thought at your age or this moment in time, you would have the finances you wanted or the person you wanted or you'd be living in the place you wanted or be further along in life and you aren't. The fundamental question you have to ask yourself is do I want to be here six months, one year, three year or five years from now? Because if you don't, you have to do something to change. The reality is that you are where you are right now, what's in your bank account, how much you make, whether you're in a relationship or you're not in a relationship whether you're happily in a relationship or not, or married because of choices that you've made. And that's a very bitter pill to swallow. Most of us project out into the future believing naively that things will change and things will get better, but we don't even change what we do on a day-to-day -day basis, which means that the chances are nothing will change. And if you feel like you are feeling down right now, depressed, anxious, stressed, wondering when it's gonna change, if it'll ever change, if you do nothing to do something about your day-to-day -day habits, you will be exactly here six months from now, one year, three years, 10 years from now. People don't get better with time. They get better if they change. So road one is you keep doing what you're doing. You'll feel exactly the same way you do now, whether it's feeling depressed or not liking what's in your bank account or you hate the fact that you're single or you're in a miserable relationship or you have no friends. That's road one. And road two is you do something about it. So how do you do something about it? That's the million dollar question. Because for a lot of us, we are where we are because we're doing what's comfortable, right? Like when you look at just each day as a microcosm of your life, you eat the way you eat for certain reasons. Maybe it's comfort, maybe it's what you can afford, maybe it's what tastes good. That produces a certain level of health and a certain level of fitness. It also produces the body you see every morning when you go and take a shower. Is that what you want? Or is it not? That's reflected in your personal decisions. And what may be required to get the body you want is discomfort, inconveniencing yourself by, you know what, today I wanna to eat the muffin and have the latte, but today I'm gonna to have the decaf Americano because it's not full of caffeine, it's not sugary, and I'm gonna get the cup of fruit because it's aligned with my goal of being healthier. That may mean you being inconvenienced. Let's say something financially, right? You look at your bank account and your savings and you have $1,000 saved for your whole life working. Calculate how much money you've earned in your life, even if you have an entry-level income making 40 grand. If you've worked 10 years, you've made $400,000. How much have you saved? That is a sobering and terrifying thought, right? It may mean inconveniencing yourself. If the next five years you want to have money saved that you can buy a home with or take a trip with or have an emergency fund with, that may mean, you know what? I'm no longer gonna do my latte every day because my latte is $7.50 in New York. And I know that $7 times 30 days, do the math. Let's just say that's 250 a month, which is your savings plan on its own. So you may have to inconvenience yourself and do something you don't wanna do really by getting a latte every other day. Or you know what? You're not gonna eat out dinner with your friends one day a week and that saves you $70 every single week. For so many of you that are introverts, that are perpetually complaining about having no friends and being single, look, I've been there. But to get to the next phase, and in particular, to not be where you are one year from now, what that may require is you forcing yourself to go out to three social events a week. Pick up a new hobby, tennis or salsa. Pick up a new random workshop you go to every Friday. It could be anything, right? Pick up a new hobby, pick up a new part of town that you go to and you're decided you're going to work in that cafe or go to that 
bookstore, something out of the ordinary that you're going to have to push yourself to do. You may not want to do that. But when you ask yourself that focusing question, what do I have to do day to day to not be here a year from now? Even though that's uncomfortable, you may have to push through that inertia so that in a year you're still not complaining about your life the way it is today. If you want to change the trajectory of your life by being more disciplined, that will for sure involve discomfort. You know, I've been sitting here uploading videos every single week for literally years. Sometimes it's fun and a lot of the time it isn't. It takes a lot of work. You know, writing my book, Master the Day, the whole reason I wrote this book was because I was thinking, how do you take a big goal that takes a long time, like totally reinventing your life, fitness, finances, your happiness, your relationships, how do you write a book which takes months or years? How do you build a business which takes months or years? And how do you turn that into something concrete and actionable? You do it by reverse engineering the endpoint goal into a daily habit. So looking at a piece of paper that says every day I'm going to write a book doesn't help you at all. But if the piece of paper says every day I'm going to write 500 words seven days a week, at one point you'll have a book. In the same way if that piece of paper says I want to find love or get married. Putting that on a piece of paper says nothing about how you do that. But instead if the piece of paper says you know what I'm going to go do three social engagements every single week for the next year and anytime I meet someone I'm into I'm going to ask them out and get their phone number. That is a concrete way to increase your percentage chance of finding love. So all of us have things in our life that we just hope will happen. And the fundamental question you need to ask yourself is, you know, five years ago, I dreamt that today I would be where I want to be. And you either are or you aren't, as I say that, you know, internally. And that may mean you have to do some things you don't want to do for a short period of time to get to where you want to be. Inconveniencing yourself by saving more than you want and maybe not going out every Friday for drinks. Or maybe going out more as an introvert when really you want to stay home and play video games or read a book or be with your cats. It may mean having to take serious daily action towards writing your book or building your business. That is hard right now. But what I can tell you for sure is that if you can do that in a year from now, you won't be complaining about how much you hate your life because you've done something different. Whereas most people will just do the same thing every day and bitch and moan that they're not living the life they want. So think about that carefully as you go forward in your life. My two cents for today. Check out the journaling worksheet below because that will also help you plan out strategically how to make that happen. And otherwise guys, that's what I have for you here today.